Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, Adjunct Professor in QSAT. In this video, we are going to see a vernier scale, a typical vernier scale. The question is, construct a vernier scale with RF 1 by 25 with maximum length of 4 meters, long enough to measure 4 meters. Show three distances on that. You are given RF maximum length and you are asked to draw, show, uh, draw the vernier scale and show three distances on that. Agreed? As usual, we will find out the length of scale. RF into maximum length equals 1 by 25 into 400 equals 16 centimeters. Agreed? I draw a rectangle, small rectangle about 1 centimeter wide, just like in the case of a plain scale. 16 centimeters now and divide this into four equal parts 0, 1, 2, 3. Then divide the leftmost division into 10 equal parts, just like in the case of a plane scale. And write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Unit decimeters. Unit meters. RF 1 by 25. Now, you are asked to draw a vernier scale. Take 11 divisions and construct a rectangle here. What's the length? The length corresponding to 11 divisions. <coughs> this is 10 divisions. 1 meter divided into 10 equal parts. Take 11 divisions, length for 11 divisions. That is length corresponding to 11 decimeters and construct a small rectangle. Divide that rectangle into 10 equal parts. While doing this, you may have to go for the procedure. Elsewhere, here all, here all you don't go, you don't need to go for the procedure. Procedure of dividing a line. When do we go for the procedure? You go for the procedure of dividing a line into any number of equal parts if it is not easily divisible. If and only if it is not easily divisible. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. Here, we have 16 centimeters. Can we divide it into 4 equal parts? Very well. 4 centimeters each. Okay. You have got 4 centimeters here. 1 meter represented by 4 centimeters. Can you divide it into 10, 10 equal parts? Yes. Very easily. 4 millimeters each. No need of the procedure. But here, when you draw this rectangle, what is its length? This is 4 centimeters. This is 4, 4 centimeters. This is 4.4 centimeters. 44 millimeters. Isn't it? This is 40 millimeters. 4 centimeters, 40 millimeters. This is 4.4 centimeters. That is 44 millimeters. 44 millimeters to be divided into 10 equal parts. Agreed? Not easy. What you have to do? You have to go for the procedure. I am not going for, go, I am not going for the procedure, but I am dividing it. You have to go for the procedure. Okay. Divide this into how many equal parts? This has to be divided into 10 equal parts. What you have, what have you divided into 10 equal parts? You have divided into, divided 11 decimeters into 10 equal parts, isn't it? This is 10 decimeters. This is 11 decimeters. 11 decimeters into 10 equal parts. So what is each division? Each division is 1.1 decimeter. Agreed? 11 decimeters divided into 10 equal parts. Each division is 1.1 decimeter. What is 1.1 decimeter? It is 11 centimeters. Agreed? So I write, 0, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 110. What's the unit? Centimeters. Now, the construction is over. But in the case of vernier scales, 
when you are asked to show distances you also need to make divisions here so i am making those divisions here Now, you are asked to show certain distances. What are they? The first one is 2.47. You have to be very careful. Listen to what I am saying. 2.47. 2.47. It ends with a 7. This is the smallest unit, isn't it? There is only one division which ends with a 7 here. What is it? 77. So, 2.47 minus 0.77. 77 means 0 0.77 meters. 0 0.77 centimeters means 0 0.77 meters. So what do you get? You get 1.7. When you subtract 0 0.77 from 2.47, you get 1.7. What do you have to do? You have to take 77 from here. 1. 1.7 from here. Connect them by a straight line, dimensioning line, and write 2.47 meters. I hope you understand. 2.47 minus 0.7, 1.77, 1.7. 1, 1.7. 1, 1. 1.77 to the left side, 1.7 to the right side, total is 2.47. Agreed? Okay. Second distance is 0 0.81. 0 0.81. It ends with a 1. There is only one division that ends with a 1. What is it? What is it? 11. 0 0.81 minus 0 0.11 0 0.77 Take 1 1 here 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 Take 1 1 here 0 0.1 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 0.1 0 0.1 here 0.1 81 minus 0 0.11, 0.7. So 0 0.77 plus 0 0.11. 0 0.7 from there, 0 0.11 to the left, total 0.81. Okay. Third is 0 0.39. There is only one division which ends with 9. What is it? 99. You need 0 0.39. There is only one division that ends with 9. What is it? 99. So 99 minus 0 0.39 is 0 0.6. Take 99, take 0 0.6. 0 0.6 is to be taken from here. 0 0.6. What is this? Point 0.39 meters. 99 minus 16. What is 0 0.6? 0 0.6 is 16. 99 minus 60 is 39. 99 minus 60 is 99 is special from here now. From there to here 99. From there to here 60. 90 minus 60 is 99 minus 60 is 39.39. I hope you understand. Now this scale is called this scale is called a reverse reading. Reverse reading. Or backward reading. Or what? Indirect reading. Where near scale. Reverse reading, backward reading, or indirect reading, where near scale. Similar to this, similar to this, you can construct forward reading, forward reading, direct reading, where near scale. Agreed? I will discuss it in some other video. Agreed? So this is a very frequently asked indirect reading or backward reading or reverse reading vernier scale. Now, one thing I would like to point out here is the least count of the scale. Least count. Least count is 
1 vernier scale division minus 1 main scale division. 1 vernier scale division minus 1 main scale division is equal to the least count. Here what is the least count? 1 vernier scale division is 11 centimeters, right? 11 centimeters. What is 1 main scale division? 1 main scale division is 1 decimeter is equal to 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters. So what is it? 1 centimeter. The least count of this scale is 1 centimeter. Least count of the scale is 1 centimeter. Agreed? Now, one thing you have to keep in mind while constructing any vernier scale is if you divide this main scale division into n equal parts, n equal parts, you can take n plus 1 and divide it into n equal parts in the vernier. I repeat, if you have got the main scale division divided into n equal parts. You have to take n plus 1 division length in the vernier and then divide it into n equal parts. That is, here you have divided this into 10 equal parts. You can take the length corresponding to 11 divisions and divide it into 10 equal parts. You cannot take the length corresponding to 12 divisions. It's not permitted. You can take the length corresponding to only 11 divisions and then divide it into 10 equal parts only. If this is n, take the length corresponding to n plus 1 and divide it into n itself. There is no other option. Okay, that is one place where students usually go wrong. Accordingly, if the least count is given, you can manage it using this relationship. Least count is equal to 1 vernier scale division minus 1 main scale division. So the division of the main scale division and the corresponding division of the vernier scale can be adjusted depending upon the uh, uh, list count. De depending upon the list count. Here the question doesn't say what is the list count. Here the question doesn't say what is the list count. Agreed? If you have anyone among you have got any serious problem with a vernier, any difficulty with a vernier problem, problem for vernier scale, you can put it in the comment box, I can solve it. Since these are simple things, I am not going to solve many number of problems in this section. I will give you one more vernier scale which is back forward ready. If you have got any difficulty with any worked out problem seen anywhere or any question found in any question paper, you can comment, give me a comment in the comment box, give the question in the comment box or you can send me by WhatsApp or you can call me. I will solve it and post it as another video. I hope you understand. Okay. Thank you.